So what up SOS family? It is pool day today. It is what time? It is seven. It's pretty much like eight o'clock. I woke up at seven thirty, brushed my teeth. Uh, kind of got upset because, man, I ain't getting my. I'm not getting paid like I'm supposed to be getting paid, and it's upsetting me. I'm gonna go to work today and complain. Try to get my money for like I'm. Oh, oh my gosh. Stay positive. Stay positive. Stay positive. Positive thoughts. I'm not gonna dwell on that right now. Outside is looking gloomy. You guys can't even see. I don't know. I might end up going to Planet Fitness because I don't know. I'll see. Most likely I'm gonna work outside though and do my pull day and hopefully get recorded for you guys. I just hope it doesn't rain and snap my camera up. So I just went downstairs, got me some Greek yogurt for my pre-workout. I really don't like eating too much before I work out. Like either just a banana or again, just some yogurt would do me good. And after that is when I would have like my shake or my first meal, like my breakfast or whatever. So yeah, I'm not trying to eat much. I'm just trying to get this in. Chill for about like what, five minutes, five, 10 minutes, and then go outside. And then after that, I gotta go get, do my hair. I'm gonna go do my hair again. Make myself look a little sweet, you know, a little handsome. Cause my hair is actually looking messy. Like, ah, I hate when my hair gets like this. So anyway, uh, stay tuned. Okay, so the workout I'm gonna be doing today, which I've been doing for the past like three or two, for the past two pull day workouts uh, that I've actually been doing at Planet Fitness. So this is gonna be the first time I'm doing this outside. Uh, this workout is for me to build up my pull up endurance, okay? So pretty much what I do is I do, it's a pyramid style workout. So I start off at 10 reps. I go all the way down to two. So I go from 10, eight, six, four, two. Then I go up from two, four, six, eight, ten, 10 in pull ups. So it totals, it totals to about 60 pull ups. And I just do all of this at once. So I do 10, I do 10 reps for one set. Then I do the next set, then I do the next set, then I do the next set until I'm done. And then I get into my other pull day exercises. But I do those for 10 reps as if I'm bodybuilding. And I, again, I will usually do it at the gym. So I will follow up with uh, like with machine rows and then I will follow up with some dumbbell curls and my body will be burnt out for that workout. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing today, except there's no machine rows or there's no dumbbells. So I'm gonna be substituting it with some other calisthenics exercises and just build my endurance up, right? Because for next month, I am trying to switch straight over to calisthenics training. Like no more conditioning, just like, like no more trying to build my endurance up and whatnot, like through doing reps and sets. I'm just gonna be practicing handstands, flags, muscle ups, handstands all of that stuff all of that good stuff and i'm gonna do again i'm gonna do what i did last time to get my gains okay so yeah that's gonna be my workout for today and this is what the kids in the hood do for fun they draw dicks on the ground for those of y'all who follow me on snapchat y'all already saw this and if you don't follow me on snapchat go follow me on snapchat and instagram just try to get it loose get it heated get it warmed up Just so I don't snap my shit up. And my chest is still sore from yesterday. And all I did was two exercises. But I just like really increased the intensity and I pushed myself. And again, I did bodybuilding reps for the push-ups. So now my chest is sore, which typically will not happen if I train the way I typically train with my five sets of five with calisthenics. Well, I chose not to, and now I'm sore. You got it, you got it, pull up a shut up. Pull up a shut up. You got it, you got it, pull up a shut up. Pull up a shutter. You got it, you got it. Pull up, pull up, pull up a shutter. You got it, you got it. Pull up a shutter. Same ones giving up, telling me that I did enough. Had a dream I was getting buff. For what I've seen, I haven't woken up. Getting mean, guess I'm hooking up. Yeah, hooking up. And you say I'm putting on a show. How would you know if you ain't showing up? You gotta pull up and go. You gotta pull up. So those were my first three sets. I will complete my workout or complete this exercise. And then I'll show you guys my last set, my very last set of 10 reps to show you guys how much I struggle. But if I complete those 10 reps, that means I completed all 60 reps, which I did last time. The first time I did it, I only got 56 and I wasn't okay with that. So I'll show you guys if I complete the last 10. 
and then I'll move on to my next exercises. Okay, so I'm about to go complete my last set. I know it's gonna be tough. Okay, I'm at 50 reps. All I gotta do, all I gotta do is 10 more, and I got my 60. And if anything, I might f around and do another 10. So let's see how this goes. You got it, you got it. Pull up a shadow. Pull up a shadow. You got it, you got it. Pull up a shadow. Pull up a shadow. You got it, you got it. Pull up, pull up. Pull up a shadow. You got it, you got it. Pull up a shadow. Same ones giving up, telling me that I did enough. Had a dream I was getting buff. For what I've seen, I haven't woken up. Getting mean, guess I'm hooking up. Yeah, hooking up. And you say I'm putting on a show. How would you know if you ain't showing up? Okay, okay. So, I struggled through those 10 reps, but let me tell you something. The first time I did it, I failed at 56. Second time, the second time I did it, I did all 60, but I had to, I had to jump off halfway and just grind out the last five reps. This time, I didn't even have to get off the bar which is why I'm happy. And heck, I feel like I could even go for another 10 reps. So yes, my endurance is going up pretty fast. I literally feel like if I waited two more minutes, I could pull off 70 reps. But I'm gonna chill for today and do the other exercises so that I could also build up my endurance in those. So what up SOS family, what is going on? I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. This is just the second episode and I really want this to become like the number one calisthenics training vlog on YouTube where it's just me showing my progress over time and also even involving some other people in the videos if I can. So I know I already briefly explained this in the previous clip but I want to go a little bit more in depth with those of you guys who are interested. Uh, so first off for beginners, uh, what I'm about to say you guys shouldn't follow this until you get to a certain level. Uh, in your basic exercises you should be able to do like you know 10 to 15 pull-ups 50 push-ups you know 15 20 dips you know the basic stuff before you do what I'm what I'm trying to do so what I'm trying to do right now like I did before was I spent a few months training just the basics just uh, the dips push-ups pull-ups the basic exercises and building up my endurance in those and then in the first year right in 2014 in July I went through a whole month of just training the calisthenics skills and that is what I'm trying to do this time. So now that I came back, I didn't lose all of my gains, but I did lose a lot of my muscular endurance and what I'm doing is building up that endurance again and then come July, which is like two weeks from now, I'm just going to be training handstands, flags and just all the calisthenics skills every day. No push, pull or legs. So guys, that is pretty much the workout. I won't be doing it too often. I kind of just tailor my workouts based upon what my goals are. Uh, so again, like the last pull day will be different from this pull day. Heck, the next pull day may be a little bit different from this pull day. Uh, I just go along with what my goals are at the current time. So for those of you guys who want to actually see the full workout in, in its entirety, I'll make a separate video on that, show you guys how to go about it. Uh, I'm talking about for the pull-up, by the way. For those of you guys who want to increase your pull-ups, uh, that's a pretty good way of going about it, the pyramid scheme. And honestly, I think it will help a lot of you guys. It helped me. Clearly, you guys can see I've made progress every single time I've done it. Uh, but again, it's a lot of willpower. Like honestly, my workouts, the workouts I do, take a lot more mental stress, uh, take a lot more mental capabilities or mental power than physical power or physical strength. So yeah, I'm gonna go inside, eat something, get ready to go get my hair done. You know, to look sweet, look handsome, because I am looking ugly with this ugly ass shit on my head. And yeah, I'm gonna go work after, so stay tuned. Almost ate everything without showing y'all what I was having for breakfast, or at least the first part of my breakfast. Just having some vector cereal with some almond milk because dairy milk, no bueno. Gonna come back after I do my hair, uh, have egg and toast, and then I'm gonna make my lunch. And damn, I really gotta think of something else to bring for lunch. Like I need like two meals for lunch because it is not cutting it for eight hours. Not even eight hours, like nine, ten hours considering travel time. Eating one meal within that time is just not cutting it. So I really gotta I really gotta figure something out. Okay, so it's family, I am back. I got my hair done. Just tried something new. Don't know how often I'll do this, but I like it. Got my protein shake, making my rice right now, getting ready for work. Uh, this morning was a busy ass morning, like geez. But, eh. You gotta put in the work if you wanna get your things done, okay? You gotta keep putting in the work. 
wake up when you gotta wake up and I'm disciplining myself to do it like it's hard like it's not easy getting up when you know you gotta get up like I sometimes I just sleep in half an hour you know later and sometimes that half an hour just ruins my entire day so like yo make sure you set your goals make sure you wake up on time get your workout in and trust me like your day will start going a lot more smoothly trust me I promise you the days you sleep in are typically the days that you hate the most so Anyway, I'll talk to y'all next time. <sighs> I am out of here. Stay blessed. Done. So I know I ended the video already, but I just wanted to make this clip to show y'all what I did with my hair. Because uh, in the last clip, I felt like I, I was looking at it, I was like, hmm, I feel like I did a little bit too much with my hair. I think I put a little bit uh, too, I put a few too many cuffs in my hair, so I took some out. I let too many, for me, I let too many, uh, braids hang down so I just put everything back and let most of them you know be in a tie and I just left I just left two to hang this because I slept my do-rag on the the braid is all curved up and stuff it's not supposed to be like that it's supposed to be looking more like this but hey whatever I just tuck it in the back and it looks pretty pretty decent again this is for those of you guys who care about my hair I got a lot of comments and questions about it people want me to make tutorials they ask me what products I use in my hair how long I've been growing my hair etc etc and I think I'm gonna do a Q&A so those of you guys who want to be a part of that Q&A please follow me on Instagram follow me on snapchat and I will ask you guys questions on for sure Instagram and possibly snapchat and I'll answer them for you or yeah no I won't ask you guys questions you guys can ask me questions there and I will try to answer them for you in a Q&A, a monthly Q&A. I think I'll try to go for that. So yeah, anyway, stay blessed. I'm out of here. Done.